what is gray box testing right so we have understood about black box white box now gray box should be from the name itself it's clear right so neither white or neither black okay it's in between so it's a combination gray box is a combination of both white box testing and black box testing right when you are doing the functional testing right so you are also following the uh, black box testing approaches okay and then also looking at a little bit into the internal working of the code if there is a combination of these two then you are doing a gray box testing and it's a software testing technique to test a software with partial knowledge of internal structure of the application right so you don't need 100% knowledge of the internal structure but partial knowledge of the internal structure and the black box testing technique combined together is what gray box testing is and most of you okay most of you as you progress through your careers you will be ending up doing gray box testing why because you will be doing api testing which will require you some sort of knowledge around the apis and how the apis or the business logic is being implemented a little bit around that and then you will be also doing a lot of functional testing you will be doing automation as well right so there will be a combination of white box and a black box not a complete white box a complete unit testing will be done always by the developer that's personally my experience i'm not sure if some of you if you are experienced have ever done unit testing in your projects if you have done then you are more of a developer and not a tester uh, that's my personal experience if you have been asked to do that unit testing yourself but yes api testing and the black box testing so the combination will be gray box testing combination of white box and black box is what you will be involved heavily and most of you will be doing gray box testing in your project so that's what basically the gray box testing is all about